Hi, good evening. Hi, Rosy. Hi, Carolina. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Hi. Nice. Nice. How was the day? Very busy. Very busy. Nice. Yes. And you work from home, right? No? Yes. Now I have a question. I was I was asking this question to the other group that when you work at home, um, what time do you wake up? <laughs> Uh, seven thirty. Seven thirty, right? But when you have to yeah. work in the in the company, what time do you wake up? Uh, Six thirty. Six thirty. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's 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 a big difference, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But yeah. uh, normally I wake up um, when when my Dorel study at uh, okay. five to no ten to ten to five. Ten to five, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and then you prepare and, yourself and everything. Uh -huh. Yes, and then I sleep. <laughs> well, <mentally>. Yeah, you <laughs> sleep again. <laughs> okay yeah i think it's really nice i mean at least that part when you're working from home uh you have a little bit more time to sleep right mm -hmm. yes that's nice <laughs> all right what about carolina and Xiomara? do you work from home right now yes yes you work from home yes and what time do you wake up when you have to work from home? I don't understand. Yeah, what time do you wake up? Because, mm. for example, in my case, when I work in the university, I, work, I, I wake up at 4 a.m. But now that I have to work at home, I wake up at 8 a.m., <laughs> you know? I sleep more. Mm. Uh -huh. What about you? Mm. I I work um, every day, um, all day. Ah, all day. Uh -huh. All day. Uh -huh. uh, and and what time uh, do you wake up in the morning? Uh, Hi, Andrea. <laughs> Me cuesta un poco, teacher. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, no problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Me cuesta un poco contestar en inglés. <laughs> ah, ok, no problem. Sí, les decía que cuando, cuando vamos a trabajar, bueno, a las compañías, a donde sea que trabajemos, nos levantamos bien temprano. Pero ahora uh -huh. que estamos en cuarentena domiciliar, pues hay personas que les toca trabajar de casa. Entonces, estamos hablando en el otro grupo que, que ahora es más chico porque uno se levanta más tarde. Entonces, eso le preguntaba, que, ¿a qué hora se levantaba ahora uh -huh. que, que trabaja en, en casa? Uh -huh. Un poquito más tarde, pero siempre temprano, porque a veces ya, desde temprano ya tengo uh -huh. mensajes y llamadas que tengo ah. que estar. Ajá, entonces, es que siempre un, un poco temprano. Ah, ok, ok, nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me parece que... Es casi igual que cuando, bueno, no tan igual, ¿no? entonces, porque... Sí, porque ya se evita uno el tráfico, se evita... Uno. Sí, ajá, pero sí desde temprano ya tengo que estar pendiente. Ah, ok. <laughs> uh, ok, yeah. thank you. Hi, Sumara. Hi, Lily. Hi, good evening, how are you? Fine, and you? Very good, thank you. Nice. Do you have to go to your company or do you work from home? No, I have a... I have home office. You have home office, home nice. Office. Uh -huh. Yes. And do you wake up at the same time than before? Um, maybe.
maybe yes, 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 because ah. my daughter has has to work. Uh, ah, she okay. has to work at seven a.m. So ah, okay. And I have to wake up very early. Ah, okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah, because there are some people that uh, they take advantage and they go to sleep, you know? <laughs> because, ah, yes. <laughs> because, because we don't have to work. I mean, we don't have to be in the office, but we can sleep a little bit more. <laughs> right? It's very nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Andrea. What about you? Do you work uh, from home or do you work in an office still? In, in home office. Home office. Okay. Yes. And do you wake up at the same time? Than before? Um, yes, um, eight. <laughs> eight, <laughs> that's nice, actually. Yeah, yeah, like in my case, when I went to the university, I woke up at 4 a.m., you know, because it, it's far from my house and I don't want to be in the traffic. But now I wake up at 9 a.m. <laughs> <And that's, laughs> I think it's very nice. <laughs> All right, and Hugo, hi, Hugo. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Nice to have you back. Uh, do you work from home or do you work in an office usually? I work uh, home office. Ah, home office right now. And uh, what time do you wake up? <laughs> I wake up at uh, 7 o'clock a.m. Okay, okay. And before? When you were working in the office, what time did you wake up? I'm sorry? What time did you wake up when you were working in the in the office? Or you um, always in the work? office, I, I wake up at uh, uh, 5 o'clock yeah. a.m. Uh -huh. So now you the can traffic. Yeah, because of the traffic. Now you can sleep two hours more, and that's nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Or, or do you sleep over, so the Bella? <laughs> More or less. More or less. Yeah, sometimes when we want to watch a movie or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, Beatriz. Uh, thank you so much for making the time uh, to be in this class. Um, we're going to continue, okay? And we're going to do a little review from what we did on the last class, okay? Um, we were talking about modifiers with ING and prepositions. Uh, maybe you did the practice on, on, on the platform. Uh, were you able to do this practice? Pudieron hacer esta práctica, o no han llegado ahí todavía? No, teacher. No, no. Okay. No. Okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, nice. Probably tomorrow. Okay, perfect. What about the others? Ya llegaron a esa parte? Ya pasaron? Or oh, what's going on? No, ya. Yo sí, teacher, pero en todos los que he ido, ha habido unas que me he quedado, porque ahí se las voy a mandar después. Va, no problem. Okay, no problem. Excellent. Okay. So, yeah, uh, it is important to practice and actually... Uh, I think today we're going to do a couple of practices about this. It is going to be very funny, okay? You're going to see uh, how we're going to do this part, okay? So just for you to remember, uh, we can describe a person by the action that the person is doing, okay? Or we can describe a person by describing the position that the person has in a place, okay? Podemos describir a la persona eh, diciendo lo que está haciendo o de, la describimos de acuerdo a la ubicación que tiene. Okay? Those are the two things that we are practicing and actually I'm going to show you uh, a couple of sentences. Les voy a enseñar un par de oraciones que estuvimos viendo ayer. Um, he, uh, who is your brother? Ah, he's a vendedor. Okay? Esto es lo que lo va a hacer diferente de los demás. Eh, esto es lo que lo, 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 lo identifica. Okay? que está tomando eh, Sora, in this case, okay? Entonces, los demás probablemente no estén haciendo eso, pero él es el único. Entonces, así es como lo describimos, okay? He's the man drinking soda. Uh, she's the woman uh, talking to my father. 
Uh, she's a woman wearing, incluso podemos hablar de la que está vistiendo, ok. Wearing a blue dress, ok. Podemos decir varias acciones que la persona estén haciendo en el momento. Y así las describimos, ok. Uh, who's the teacher, ok. He's the man wearing a blue or striped shirt, ok. Entonces, eso, eso sería en base a las acciones que están haciendo. Ok, usamos el ING. Ok. Eh, igual, acuérdense que en este caso podemos usar eh, the man, or the person, or the animal, or whatever. Y luego ponemos eh, lo que está haciendo. O simplemente decimos lo que está haciendo. Ok, he's drinking soda. Ok, así de simple. Ok. Um, also, we are going to talk about prepositions. Estamos practicando un poco las prepositions. Uh, hablamos de eh, the, I forgot it, the prepositions, which are the places, ok. Estamos hablando de la locación o de lo que lleva puesto, ok. In this case, we're going to, we're going to use with para hablar de lo que tiene puesto, ok. Así como estamos wearing. Usamos with para hablar de lo que tiene puesto. O simplemente decimos la ubicación. Okay, next to, in front of, behind, okay, um, etc. Okay, there are different prepositions that we can use. Okay, now we're going to do a small activity. Okay, creo que lo que estuvieron conmigo el módulo pasado. Eh, ¿Se acuerdan de esta imagen que les mostré el módulo pasado? So, we're going to do pre something pretty similar. Vamos a hacer algo bien similar a lo que estuvimos haciendo el módulo pasado. The only difference is that now we're going to do it uh, with this structure. Ahora lo vamos a hacer tratando de usar esta, eh, esta estructura. Lo que vamos a hacer es bien fácil. Eh, únicamente, únicamente tiene que elegir o un animal o una persona. ¿Ok? Aquí ve que bastantes eh, animales y personas hay en toda la fotografía. Usted únicamente elige una. Okay? Elige una persona o un animal. Okay? Voy a empezar yo. Para empezar el juego, únicamente tengo que decir eh, qué es lo que estoy viendo. Si estoy viendo una, una persona o si estoy viendo un animal. Okay? Y luego usted me tiene que hacer esta pregunta. Is the, y luego ahí pone animal or person, ok. Y luego pone eh, ya sea la acción o the location, ok. Y luego el signo de pregunta que sería la pregunta. Por ejemplo, um, is the person uh, speaking on the phone, ok. Está la persona hablando por teléfono, ok. Entonces, yo tengo que decir yes it is, or yes he is, or no she is, ¿ok? O también lo puedo hacer con una location, ¿ok? Is the person uh, next to a girl, ¿ok? Esa es la persona a la par de una chica. Yes he is, or yes she is, or no he isn't, or no she is, ¿ok? Así de simple. Entonces, después de poner the animal or the person, Usted tiene que incluir una, una acción que sea en ING, ¿ok? Así como lo hemos practicado. O que esté usando una locación, ¿ok? Que puede ser in front of, next to, in, on, behind, etc. ¿Ok? So, I'm going to begin. Yo voy a empezar. I am going, to, I, am, I am looking at, um, I'm looking at a person, okay? Estoy viendo una persona. So I need you to ask me questions using this. Quiero que me hagan eh, preguntas siguiendo esta estructura, okay? And I am looking at a person, okay? Estoy viendo una persona. Entonces en ese espacio tiene que ser is the person y luego me dice la descripción, okay? Y yo simplemente voy a decir yes or no hasta que adivine cuál es la persona. Right? Is the person running? Is the person running? No. Running. Is the person catching? Is the person catching? No. No, he isn't. Is the person sit down? Is the person sitting down? No. No, he isn't. Is the person playing trumpet? 
Is the person playing trumpet? No, he is. Is the person is the... swimming? <laughs> swimming. Swimming? Uh, no, he isn't. Is the person is sleeping? The... Is the person sleeping? Sleep? Uh, no, he isn't. Is the person reading the is newspaper? The person... Uh, no, he isn't. No. Is the person writing? Uh, writing. Writing, sí. Uh -huh. No, he isn't. Gritar, mm. teacher. Mm -hmm. Yelling. Is the person yelling? No, he isn't. Uh -huh. Is the person cutting grass? Is the person cutting grass? Cutting no, grass. Uh -huh. What color the... Um, una pista. Is the person wearing a shirt real? Is the person wearing red shirt? Uh, no, he isn't. Is, is the person, person driving a motorcycle? Is the person uh, riding a motorcycle? No, he isn't. Is the person a man? Is the person a man? Yes, he is. Um, is the person uh, wearing a hat? Wearing a hat? Un sombrero o una cachucha in this case? A hat. Uh -huh. a hat. Ah, a hat. Un sombrero. Yes. Ah, uh, no, he is. <laughs> is the person wearing a cat? Wearing a cap, que sería gorra, yes, yes he is. Mm -hmm. Is a person he... wearing yellow cap? A yellow cap? Uh, no, he isn't. Is a person buying it? Buying food? Buying food? Yes, he is. Okay, yes, it's this one. Uh -huh. Is the person from, uh -huh, from, uh -huh. bueno, un carrito. <laughs> uh -huh. In front of the car? Uh -huh. uh, in front uh -huh. of the car. Yes, he is. Okay, so is this person. Nice. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. Rosy, do you have a person or an animal here? I have a person. A person, okay. Okay, okay now let's ask Rosy, okay? Let's ask Rosy. Uh, let's see, Rosy. Is the person wearing a blue shirt? No. Okay. He's not. Uh -huh. He is or the she per not. Okay. Uh -huh. Is <laughs> the person a man? A man? A man? Uh -huh. Yes, he is man. Okay. Rosy, is the person sitting on the elephant? No. He's not. Okay. Is the person playing? No, he's not playing. Okay. Is the person is running? Sleeping? No, he's not running. Other question? Is, there, is, is the it person sleeping? Uh -huh, is the person I... sleeping? Sleeping. Sleeping, no. Okay. He's not sleeping. Is the person who talking at the phone, at the cell phone? No. Mm -hmm. No. He's Is not. the person sitting down? Yes, uh -huh. he's sitting down. Okay. Is the person wearing shirt blue? No, he's not. Mm -hmm. Is the person drinking a soda? No, he's not. Hmm. Is the is person the person buying a food? Buying a food. Huh? No, he's not. No. Is the person sitting in the elephant? No. He's is not a person wearing red cap. No, he's not. He's the person swimming. Swimming, no. 
the person is, is sit down. The person is sitting down. Sit Where down. Is... And he is man. Mm -hmm. In the city as well. Is the person mm -hmm. eating popcorn? Mm, I I think I think yes. Popcorn. Popcorn. Okay. Is the person wearing shirt black white? White no. Ah, is the person wearing yellow shirt? Uh -huh. Other description. Is the person next to a girl? Uh, a girl? Between the girls. Ah, between yes. the girls. Ah, between the girls. Ah, yeah, okay. that one. Okay, perfect. Yes. Yeah, we got it. Okay. <laughs> we got it. Nice. Let's see. Hugo, do you have a person or an animal? Uh, or, or animal. An animal. Okay. Now that's easy. <laughs> we have a few. Let's see. Questions, people? Is the animal running? Mm, no, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Is the animal flying? Mm, no, it is. No, is it the is. animal that, that is staying next to the car? Yes. Yes, ah, it is. Uh -huh. Is the animal go. eating? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the bull. Okay. The bull. Uh -huh. El toro. The bull. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice. Nice. Hugo. That was easy. <laughs> Let's see. Andrea, do you have one? Animal. Animal. Okay. Is the animal wearing shirt free? <laughs> Andrea, Andrea, what happened? <laughs> Perdón, que mis perritos están ladrando mucho. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No worries. Okay, let's see, Beatriz, and then we can go back to Andrea. Okay. Uh huh. Is it an animal or a person? Um, a person. A person. Okay. Is the person sitting down? Um, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's sitting down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Is the person a girl? No, it's a boy. It's a boy. Person is sleeping. A person, is a person drinking soda? No. No. Mm -hmm. The person is woman or or man? It's a boy. It's, it's a, a man. Boy. Is the person playing uh, in the field? Mm, yes. Ah. Uh -huh. The catcher. The catcher is the catcher. No. Ah. Okay. Is a person running? No. Is the person driving driving motorcycle? Yes, it is. Okay. Is the person in the in the swimming pool? No. Mm -hmm. Is the person yeah, the, is the person in front picture? Mm -hmm. Yo creo que ya eh, driving mm -hmm. driving motorcycle. Ah, ya lo dijo. Yes. Ah, lo dijo. Sí. Ah, okay, sorry, <laughs> I didn't listen. <laughs> All right, thank you. Now, Andrea, can you do it now? Mm, yes, okay. animals. The animal, okay, we are so pendiente con Andrea. The animal. Is the animal running? Yes. 
okay. Is the Is animal the yellow, color yellow? <laughs> yes. Okay, the dog, right? That's yes. the dog. All dog. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. now I have a different picture, okay? That's for the rest. That's para lo que faltan, okay? So, let's see. No falta Carolina, Xiomara, Lily, y Yader, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Okay. I have another picture, and this is for you. Okay. Aquí sí. hay que poner más atención. Okay. Hay bastantes. Si no pueden decir algo, me avisan y yo les ayudo. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Lily, do you have an animal or a person? Okay. Lily. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, a person. A person, okay. Yes. Let's help Lily. Is a person driving or riding? Basic, bicicleta? The bicycle? Bicycle? Bicycle. bicycle. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. it's is a person a man? Is the person running? Uh, no, it isn't. It's a Roman person. Uh, no. <laughs> is the person walking? No. Hmm. Is the person running? No, it's not. Is the person it's sitting? The... Uh, yes, it is. Ah, okay. Is the person next to the animal? Uh, yes. Yes, ah, it is. Okay. Is the person reading newspaper? Yes, exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Okay. We got it. Yes. Excellent. Let's see. Yather, do you have a person or an animal? A person. A person. Okay. Is the person riding a bicycle? Um. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, person, woman? Um, one moment. <laughs> uh, Maybe, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a man. It's a man. It's a man. Uh -huh. Is a person running? No, he's not. Is, a, is it a woman? No, is it a man, right? It's a man. It's uh -huh. a man. Okay. Uh, it's a person. It's a person sitting. Well, in a, on a bicycle, I guess, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Is a person wearing a blue shirt? Um. Yes, he's. Hmm. But there are two men with blue shirts. Uh huh. We need to yes. explain how, and we need to ask how, which one. Uh, is the person that have the red cap? The red helmet. Uh huh. Casco helmet. Uh -huh. Yes, he's. Ah, so it's in the center, right? This one. No. Ah. It's next to next to the. This one. Yeah, I think. No, he ah. isn't. No. Ah, so it's this one, right? No. <laughs> I don't know. We're lost. <laughs> is, he is between uh, two bicycle. A uh, purple shirt. Two bicycles. Yes. Ah, oh, the little, the little one here. Yeah. Then ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's it's kind of hard to say if it's a boy or a girl, but yeah. Ah, yeah. That was tricky. Actually, that was tricky. All right. So, Mara, do you have one? An animal. An animal. Okay. Hmm. Is. Next one. One more time. Is the animal uh, riding a motorcycle? 
No. It isn't. Mm -hmm. Is the animal cry crying? Crying. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it isn't. Is the animal Wing. flying? No, it isn't. Is the animal mm -hmm. running? No. Is the animal sw swimming? Mm, yes, it is. Ah. The, dog the color is purple. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of gray. It's como un gris, creo, I guess. Yeah, but it, they are the dolphins, right? Uh -huh, perfect. Uh, let's see. Yader, ya pasó. No. Sí, sí. Okay, who's missing? ¿Qué me falta? No. Carolina. Carolina. Okay, Carolina. Mm -hmm. Tell us, Carolina. Is it an animal or a person? A person. A person. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is the person uh, riding a bike, bicycle? No. No. Is an old man? Is the person walking? No. It's old yes. man? No. Hmm. Is reading? No. Is the person young? Mm, yes. It's a young person. Uh -huh. Is a person, a person no. Is a person wearing a shirt uh, orange? No. Mm. Is the person wearing a uh, purple shorts? Mm, no. Oh. Is the person walking? Uh, no. Walking. Is the person running? No. Is the person sitting? No. <laughs> it's man or woman? It's boy. It's a boy. Is the person orange hair? No. Ah, is the person wearing red uh, shirt? Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Is the person first. that stayed in front sitting in, in front of the monument? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, between the monument and the and the lake. Yeah, he's not sitting. He's not walk. I mean, he's not walking. He's just no. staying. Yes. <laughs> just staying. Uh huh. And with a blue pants, right? Yeah. 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 He's looking yeah. at the people doing the crazy mm -hmm. things, and he's just like, no. I'm just yes. here. <laughs> All right, perfect, okay? So this is how we use it, okay? If you see that's very easy, uh, we're just describing a person by saying the actions or the position, okay? So that's how we use modifiers, okay? Así como ocupamos los modifiers. Eh, la verdad es que creo que ya los sabemos utilizar, únicamente que no sabíamos que, cuál era la estructura que se seguía para eso, okay? Así que, very, very simple. Any question? No? No. Okay. No. All right. I have a little game before we continue. Uh, we're going to continue practicing the verbs in the past. Okay. I think it is important to continue practicing that, uh, especially when we're talking about affirmative sentences. Okay. Affirmative sentences. So now I don't have yes, no questions. Ahora no tengo preguntas de sí o no. All of them are information questions. Okay. So very quickly, um, you can tell me in one or two sentences the answer, okay? Algo corto, solamente para ver cómo vamos eh, con los verbos en pasado, all right? I'm going to do it first, okay? I'm going to do it first. Give me a second, I need this, all right. Let's see how many points. Ah, come on, one point. <laughs> okay, uh, what time did you go to bed last night? Uh, yesterday, I went to bed at uh, 11.30 p.m. Yeah, 11.30. My internet was not working properly, and I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to upload the videos. That's why I was, like, trying to do that. But yeah, I, I went to bed around 11.30 p.m. Okay? Let's see, Rosie. 
Okay, one point as well. Uh, where did you go for your last vacations? Where did you go? In January, uh, I did. Mm -hmm. I did. You didn't? I did. No, or I went. I went. Generally, uh -huh. I went to Huachapan. Okay. In a in a house in Huachapan, ah, and okay. then we visited some places near. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like to listen to visited because that's the correct pronunciation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's see, Carolina. Thank you, Rosie. Two. Okay. Okay, Carolina, you don't have to do anything. Don't worry. Okay, you miss a turn. Okay, uh, let's see. Lily, you're the next one. Okay. Four points. Let's see. No, no, no. Okay. One, two, three, four. Go back to spaces. Point, point. Uh, who did you see yesterday? Did you see any person that you didn't see the other days yesterday? Uh, no, teacher, because I have, I didn't, I didn't, because I, I have to stay home. Okay, And perfect. I didn't nobody yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Just my yeah. family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the correct thing to do. <laughs> All right, <laughs> excellent. Thank you, Lily. Let's see, Tiamara, you're next. Let's see. Oops, three points, okay. Let's see, one, two, three. Uh, Xiomara, where did you go to school when you were younger? Where did you go to school? Maybe the name of the place, the name of the school or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nazareth School. Nazareth School, and that is in what city? Mm, San Salvador. Ah, okay, okay. Did you have a favorite teacher? Mm, yes, uh -huh. I had one. Okay, and why? And uh, what subject? Uh, mathematics. Mathematics. Ah, nice, mm -hmm. nice. And did you learn a lot? Yes, I learned a lot okay, about mathematics. Yeah, that's nice. When you have a really nice teacher in math, I think that is beneficial for you. <laughs> okay? Yes. Thank you. Let's see. Andrea, you're next. Okay, two points, Andrea. Let's see. Uh, one and two. Where did you live when you were five years old? Where did you live when you were five years old? Okay, I live with my mom. Okay, where? Do you remember the place? Or in the same house? Uh, it's in, in San Salvador. Ah, okay, okay. So yeah, you lived, uh -huh. lived. Don't, don't I lived in San Salvador. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, let's see who's next, Beatriz. Let's see, Beatriz. Four points, okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Uh, did you buy anything? Well, what did you buy yesterday? Did you go out to buy something yesterday? No. Okay. No. Yeah. Yesterday, I stayed in my home all okay. the day, and okay. I slept. And you slept. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Um, yeah, there. You're the next. Two points. Let's see. Uh, 17. What did you do last night? 
tell us some activities that you did last night. Last night, I does take a class of English. Okay, you took English classes? Uh -huh. Took. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And after the class, what did you do? Excuse me, could you repeat? Uh -huh. After the class, what did you do? After the class, I sleep. I you slept. slept. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Yader. Uh, me falta? Carolina ya pasó. Yes. Okay, Hugo, ya pasó. No. No, no. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's see, Hugo. Oops. No, not Google. Okay. Six. Nice. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Where did you spend New Year's Eve last year? December 31st. Where did you spend? Uh -huh. Or where did you go? Uh -huh. uh, I went to the shower and then... Uh -huh. Then I spend in wine. You spent in? In wine. In wine, in, in, in vino. Uh-huh, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And did you, did you stay in your house or did you go to visit other people? Uh, in my house with my family. Okay, perfect, perfect, thank you. Uh, who's missing? Que me falta? Diga yo. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do the last one. Okay, I'm going to do the last one. Right. One. Okay, perfect. Uh, more forward three spaces. Okay, three spaces more. One, two, three. Uh, when did you last play a game like this? Uh, a couple of days before <laughs> when I was playing with you, okay? Uh, I think that was the last time or the last, yeah, the last time that I played a game like this, like a board game, okay? I don't have Monopoly, so I can't practice this, like, like a game like this. But I do it with my students, so that's nice, okay? All right. Now, uh, on the next class, okay, vamos a tener una pequeña tarea para el fin de semana. Uh, on the next class, we're going to see a new topic. And on that topic, we're going to see more verbs. So it is important uh, that you learn some of these verbs, okay? Vamos a ver el, el presente perfecto. And in that case, uh, se van a tener que aprender eh, unos verbos, okay? Porque así como tenemos verbos, eh, bueno, en el pasado, se, se acuerdan que teníamos muchos verbos con ed, que terminan con ed, ¿verdad? Eh, En el participio, nosotros le llamamos así el participio, el, los verbos con ed no cambian, sino que siempre van a seguir verbos con ed. Sin embargo, los que son irregulares, por ejemplo, it, ate, eh, tienen otra forma para el participio. Entonces hay que aprenderse también esa otra forma. Entonces para eso les voy a dejar un pequeño juego y ya les voy a explicar cómo se utiliza por si... Creo que ya lo hemos, ya lo hemos usado con ustedes. Eh, Y igual el juego que les dejé para que se aprendieran los verbos irregulares en pasado es el mismo juego, solo que ahora con verbos eh, en participio, ¿ok? Eh, vamos a aprender las diferentes formas que tenemos para usar el participio y es necesario poner atención o por lo menos aprenderse estos verbos, ¿ok? Porque, eh, bueno, si se acuerdan en el pasado, por lo menos en las negativas y en las preguntas no cambiamos el verbo. Por ejemplo, I didn't eat, I didn't go out, uh, I didn't play, ¿ok? En ese caso es fácil porque no se cambian, pero para ese tema, todos los verbos se van a tener que cambiar, ¿ok? Entonces es importante que nos aprendamos o que por lo menos practiquemos un par de veces este juego para que nos podamos aprender un par de, de verbos, ¿ok? So we're going to practice this conversation. Vamos a practicar esa conversación y luego les explico eh, lo que vamos a hacer con eh, la plataforma esa, okay? El extra game. So, listen and practice. 
Uh, it's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have already, I have already been to one. Oh, well, uh, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I have already done that too. Have you ridden, an, have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me, okay? So in this conversation, you can see many new words, okay? Probablemente aquí van a ver bastantes palabras nuevas eh, que probablemente hayan visto pero que no conocen. Por ejemplo, been, okay? Been. Eh, in the next class, we're going to see what is the meaning of been or you are going to see what the meaning of been is. Um, is the participle of be. Yeah, it's a past participle of be. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's a past participle of be. Um, let's see another word. Yeah, again, we have been here. If you see, that's very common. Already, okay. We're going to see the meaning of this word already. Um, Riverboat, in that case, it is like a sport, okay? Uh, andar en bote, pero en el río. A riverboat. Uh, again, we have uh, already, we have ridden. Ese también es un verbo, okay? We are going to see what the meaning is. Uh, a streetcar. Es como un pequeño, eh, es como un pequeño, es como, no es como una mototaxi, es como un... Es como un transporte pequeño de carro, pero es como, es como con bicicleta. Creo que eso es un streetcar. Uh -huh. um, and, yeah. Uh -huh. Ahí podemos ver algunos de los verbos que, que vamos a estar viendo. Okay. So we're going to practice this very quickly. Listen again. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited that to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have already been to one. Oh well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me, okay? So, let's see. Uh, Hugo, you are Jar, no, let's see. Todd, okay, Hugo, you are Todd, and Carolina, you are Jane or Jan, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in the New Orleans, New Orleans long? Mm -hmm. Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Mm. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'll be already been to one. Oh well how about our reviver reviver boat tour oh I'll be already done that too have you ridden in a street car they, they are, are a lot, lot of fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Killing, excellent. Okay, thank you. So I investigated a streetcar. Eh, sería un tranvía, okay? Streetcar. Mm -hmm. Streetcar es un tranvía, okay? Un tranvía. All right, and the last one, let's see. Um, Beatrice, you're going to be Jan, and yeah, there, you're going to be Todd, okay? 
Okay. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in, in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to Jazz like so yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Um, I've already done that too. How are you riding in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it, to take it easy. Mm -hmm. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So as I said before, we are going to see the past participle of the verbs. Okay. Vamos a, a tratar de aprender el participio de los verbos. Aquí tengo un par de ejemplos. En el caso de watch, uh, that is very simple because the simple past is watched and the participle is also watched, okay? With the regular verbs, no problem, okay? Son las mismas reglas del, de los verbos regulares, los que tenemos que acordarnos. Así que por eso es importante eh, practicarlo, okay? Para que nos acordemos de la pronunciación porque la vamos a seguir usando. Ahora, there are some irregular verbs that are going to change. For example, go is the present, went is the past, and the past participle is gone, okay? Mm -hmm. So we are going to practice the last, uh, the last verbs, okay? Vamos a practicar los, los que están de último, eh, para que así se nos, se nos puedan quedar más rápido. Entonces, how are we going to do that? Eh, ¿Se acuerdan que les di un link parecido a estos para eh, los tanto como lo para los verbos irregulares, como para practicar el vocabulario de, este, de la, las, las adjetivos para describir a una persona. Entonces son los que vamos a estar utilizando. ¿okay? Es, va a ser el mismo programa, ya más o menos les había explicado que, que hay una serie de fichas, se lo pueden aprender un poco más rápido, incluso si hay un examen. Entonces voy a tratar de hacer el examen con ustedes el lunes para ver qué tanto los practicamos, ¿ok? Aunque sea una vez, puede hacer cada actividad y ya con eso me aseguro de que por lo menos pueden usar más o menos un 50% porque se van a dar cuenta que algunos de los verbos se repiten la estructura, ¿ok? Como que había uno que sonaba igual a este, entonces el, el, el participio va a ser igual. Así se le van quedando a uno un poco más rápido, ¿ok? So just let me show you uh, the link. Déjenme mostrar el link. Igual cuando usted entra a Google, eh, únicamente en la barra de direcciones, pone eso, bit.ly, past participle 2. Ok, past participle 2. Ahí se lo voy a poner en el, en, el, en el WhatsApp para que lo pueda accesar más rápido. Y se va a encontrar con esto, que serían los verbos in past participle. Ah, uh, by the way, eh, con la clase anterior, antes de esto, Con los, con los modifiers de ING y de las prepositions, con eso ya fácilmente puede terminar la eh, section number four, ¿ok? Con eso ya fácilmente puede terminar la sección número cuatro eh, y eso ya sería de la section number five, porque ya la próxima semana eh, terminaríamos. All right, so the same thing, la, lo mismo, acá a su lado eh, izquierdo o en el, si lo hacen en el teléfono, hasta en la parte de abajo va a tener Estas opciones que serían las fichas, aprender, escribir, eh, escuchar, o ortografía, perdón, y el examen, ¿ok? Entonces, igual, acá lo importante es el icono dice fichas o flashcards, que si pone hacérselo aquí, va a haber un momento que le va a pedir este cuenta. Y ahí, emocional, no se lo recomiendo para evitar estar, que no me acuerdo, entonces, de gratis, no tiene que ser, únicamente le da Si estoy leyendo, fácilmente para cómo utilizar eso. Y a mí eso me gusta bastante porque eh, no, o sea, la mayoría de los estudiantes pasan una gran lista de verbos y se van aprendiendo uno por uno. Siempre con esto se aprende más rápido. Y si, como les mencionaba, se van a dar cuenta que hay unos verbos que tienen como la misma estructura y el participio es activo. ¿Okay? En este caso, se van a dar cuenta. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es el pasado del run? ¿Alguien se acuerda? Run. Run, ok. Es lo mismo. 
Ajá. Entonces, en este caso, el participio sería igual run. ¿Ok? Entonces, van a ver que dicen eh, que, se, que se van a acordar. Ah, pero me acuerdo que en este no ha cambiado el pasado. Entonces, solo para terminar de, de, de corroborar, aquí va a ver que el participio sería casi igual a lo mismo. Por ejemplo, read, the past participle is, read, uh -huh, read, the same thing, ok. La única que cambia, el, la única pronunciación en la que cambia es como que, fue, como que fuese un color, igual que en pasado. Read the present, read the past, and read also the past participle, ok. Entonces aquí solo va a haber el presente y el participio, ok, no va a haber el pasado. Put, the same thing, es put, ok. En ese, caso, no, en ese caso no va a cambiar. Ahora aquí se cambian las cosas. Make. Um, ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Uh -huh. El pasado de make. Made. 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 Ok. Ahora vamos a ver el participio. Made. Igual. Ok. Made. Entonces, si se fijan, hay unos que no van cambiando. Quiero ver si encuentro alguno que cambia. Solo para que vean. Bueno, go, ya se lo había enseñado, que era eh, gone. Eh, pero no que sea fácil. Ok, get. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de get? Got. Got, ok. In this case, the past participle is going to be gotten. Ok, gotten. Vamos a ver. Bueno, no me lo quiere decir ahorita esta mujer, pero ya. Yeah. En, en su teléfono, cada vez que le da vuelta automáticamente eh, va a tener la pronunciación de la palabra, ¿ok? Entonces, le voy a dejar ese link en el WhatsApp para que puedan practicar esos verbos. He incluido 49 verbos que considero que son un poco más comunes, ¿ok? Eh, para que lo puedan practicar durante el fin de semana. Y, igual, bueno, cualquier duda con la plataforma, eh, ahí estoy a las órdenes y eso sería todo, ¿ok? Eh, have a nice weekend. Please stay in your house. Take care, take care, take care of your family members, and have a good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.